Uh, this guy's solid. Berber's Mongols. Okay. I like this guy. Solid player. Now it's... Rip sounds? I think you should still be able to hear them, right? It's just going to be a bit lower. I don't like the sounds too loud. Uh, I don't really have a good woodline yet. Well, I have a few that are decent, but I still don't know which one I'll take. So I'll just extract this for a bit. That's a great woodland towards the back near the berries. That's going to make for an amazing opening right there. Berbers is one of those civs where I feel like I, I really like the civ, actually. Um, but I, I feel like it has... It, it doesn't feel as good when I play it for some reason. Um, for, for no reason. I think, like, on paper, it sounds great. Cheaper knights are great. Uh, camel archers are great. Faster moving bills is also really solid. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I just don't really have the most amount of success with Berbers. Well, let's see. I also like the Genitors. Could be a matchup for Genitors if you go Scav Archers. Scouting the side with the sheep is very nice there. Walling up here is also nice. Um... Yeah, I couldn't really make a house near the berries because I, I want a wall somewhere else, maybe here. With uh, Against Mongols, I really want to play defensive. But I have to know what he's going to go for if he's going to do men at arms. Last time I played against him, he was Mongols, he went men at arms. And wall up just that side, just to have it walled, because it secures so much area. Like, it's like a direct access into my base, and it's a, a stone and a wood line. So I want to wall that up to protect it. That seems pretty reasonable. Uh, I want to open scouts ideally, but it's hard to say. Like, I feel like archer opening is mandatory if he goes for men at arms with Mongols. It would be too hard to hold it otherwise. But let's see. Let's see what he goes for. People like have so Berbers should play to your strengths. Yeah, definitely. Also, your name is Berbers Burgers, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, I like the cheaper like have. It's obviously great. I mean, I think Berbers in general is a civilization that I, uh, yeah, I like a lot in theory. But like I said, I just for some reason I it never really clicks in practice too much. Not that it, not that I'm bad with it or anything. Not that the civ is bad, but. Right, let's look up a little bit of out time there. Mm. We're going to stick on one lumber camp. Whoa, that's really fast. He's looking for my scout. Do you have to hide? That's, ex that's extremely fast. He's going to do scouts for sure. With that kind of uptime. I'm trying to hide my scout. Go on this uh, bottom side. Yeah, we're definitely going to stay at one lumber camp as well. And yeah, no, I was just making my buildings in a defensive location. 
Just to chill a bit. Yeah, I just gotta hit some castle age. So early, bro has the dream job but makes office hours? <laughs> um... I actually, yeah, I actually love waking up early, bro. <laughs> it's actually great. I, I wasn't always like this, but since I've uh, started waking up early, I've been feeling great. So, yeah, man, I, mean, I hope to keep it going like this. Let's make those office hours. Why not? Uh, let's do this. Right away, Spear, right away. We're going to actually skip double bit axe for a bit. Oh, nice. Uh, just to get the spears out. Uh, two scouts will show up here in 10 seconds, I'm sure of it. So I have to go back with my scouts. What did I say? <laughs> Six cents, guys. It's a try hard Thursdays kind of call right there. A quick call and keep it simple. We gotta play defense, we gotta play defense. Uh, not exactly the wall I had in mind, but it's not bad either. Remember, I, I scale really well versus Mongols. So this is actually a great matchup because Mongols, they're great early game. Um, and then they kind of fall off a little bit in the mid game and then they're also again strong uh, in the late game. So what I want to do is I want to start off on pure defense. Notice how my scouts are playing defense. I'm not counterattacking or anything. Because he's stronger than me right now. So I need to use the defender's advantage of getting my units, you know, quicker uh, than he can send them across the map. So I have, like, more or the same on defense despite being up later. And I'm just trying to secure my map. Come the mid game, I also have to pull ahead. So if we're playing with the only purpose to win, um, or we want to play optimally, we should just play defense to start. Keep it simple. And a lot of people might find this style like pretty boring, but I actually love I love playing on defense. I will pick this up so we don't fall too far behind. Had to skip it early just to afford the two spears and the walls, but now we can definitely pick it up. I've been getting it a little late. And I like to make only two spearmen. For some reason, it feels like the perfect number. I don't think you need more, but I think you need exactly two to defend your base if you use scouts as well. Uh, yo, Tom Cruise, thanks for the gift of the sub. Appreciate it, man. Alright, so now let's get this back. Oh. My bad. Um, There's two ways to play. I can either wall up here and wall here, which is the best thing, or I can wall down here to the stone. I think I'm going to go for option number one, though. Loading some wood here is my bad. Spend that ASAP. More scouts, because I'm still not done securing my map. Yeah, this is a bit far out, but like if I can get that wall, I'm chilling. Uh, we cannot. Abort. Cancel to get wood back. Which is really, really hard now. Thinking about making a tower. We're going to go. We can't fight. So I'm going to go cut off reinforcements a bit, maybe. It's fletching as well. It's just going to be really hard to hold. Uh, I guess we get one of those. I guess we have to hold it with pure scouts. Buy as much time as possible. That villain might have to be sacrificed. Oh, no. See how I body blocked that a little bit? I kind of made it seem like I was going to engage, but I didn't. That's a good way to bluff the you know the engagement sometimes. You just run at him, looking like you're going to engage, but you don't. Ah, uh, he, he messed up. Ah, uh, he messed up. He lost a scout and a half. Now we can take it. Forging some in. Perfect timing. Yeah, now, now we're good. Only one scout can fight, though. That's... 
Yeah, two at, two at the same time is good enough. Okay, now I want to get back to my game plan. My game plan was to secure my map and wall up. Oh. So I'm going to get back to doing just that. We'll wall the front. Actually, I still can't. Still can't. Pressure's too good. We have to go range. Oh, no, not second stable we'll range. His armor now as well. Maybe I had to make a tower. That's not great. Mongols are so hard. It's by far the hardest to play against, I think. You just have to hang on. Let's get a wheelbarrow, in fact. Problem is, after this, I also have to consider that he might get faster castle time, since I'm investing so much into Feudal Age. So is he, to be fair. I want to get back to my plan of walling up. Actually, I think counterattacking makes some sense here. We're so close together. Can I start with a market? I want a market. He might be up the castle now. Which would make it really hard to hold the step lancers. We have to go. Oh, he's on two ranges. So we have to go more scrims. Yeah, more scrims for sure. <laughs> Only thing I could have done better so far is make a tower. I, th I think that might have been needed. I might sneak around here. I'm gonna try to go in, but if not, I'll just go back. Uh, market's already used. I think he's up. I, I think I'm gonna make a preemptive tower here. If I lose the gold, I'm screwed. If I keep the gold, I have a very, very competitive chance to win. Let's do that. This is open still, but that's okay. With the scrims, I want to see if I can find the archers. I saw an archer move to the left side of the map earlier, so I'm going to see if he's still around there. As long as I keep my vision high, I don't think he can surprise me with anything. Oh, there he is. Now we want to fight before he gets castle. Yeah. This is good timing, though. Ah, uh, no fletching. That's not good. It's actually really bad. And this is exactly what happens with Berbers every time. I just fall so far behind. Before I can even get the castle edge. I mean, it is Mongols. It is like the hardest stuff to play against in the early game, but still. Still, I have a lot of res, so it's not like I can't hold this, but. It's just difficult, and I'm still just making Elite Scrim, which I don't really get a discount on. No, we have to go Elite Scrim, I guess. I can just go Janitors, maybe. Let's go Janitors. Yeah, let's go janitors. That makes the most sense.
Getting all in still. The damage, but we're actually trading his military, so it doesn't feel that, that bad actually. Let's get some counterattacks in. Alright, now we lost a lot of those, so it's up to us to get some economy rolling soon. Now Berber should be much stronger than Mongols. If I didn't take enough, if I didn't take too much damage, that is. There's no bloodline still. My army is much stronger. Ooh, some wasteful, wastefulness there. A cross was coming soon, so we just have to run. His ballistics. Yeah, on one TC. I mean, he's just one TC me as well. So, janitors feels not the best versus camels. What choice do I have? Ah, uh, lie got me there. Genesis clutch. I mean, honestly, we're, we're missing the most important upgrade so far as well. I don't like selling wood, but I feel like I have to. That's the most important upgrade. Now, now after that, we're going to be extremely strong. Uh, we're going to do something weird. We're going to take a bunch of woods. Instead of selling at the market, just fix the economy. I wish I had to leave this guy, he's just getting attacked by lions. Ah, well. Oh god, pathing cost me a genitor and half a knight there. Might cost him a camel though. I think I can just fight this. We're so much stronger. Elite Scrum would be better than Janitor here, but I would also need the upgrade. And honestly, Janitor helps me chase down, so it's it's weird. Hard to say what's better. The Janitor dies to Camel, which is the kind of the downside of it. Nice, okay. Is it just all inning still? Wow. So difficult. A Mongol all in is just so crazy to hold. It's a good game. And he played really well. He just on oh no, he's he added economy. He added economy. So he started off a really heavy all in. As you can see, he already finished his main gold. He was like super all in. And then he started adding economy, but I think it's too late. He probably has like 56 bill, something like that, if I had to guess. 67? No, he has a lot. But I think he's, he probably still loses from now, though, because he, he lost a lot of his uh, army. Maybe if he just camped with this army instead of fighting me, now that he knew he had the ability. Blue heart. If he just camped with those guys, he could have been in a completely fine position. And then I would obviously have the better army, but then I'd have to break his defense. He has ballistics. 
Honestly, I think he threw that game. I think he had it. He had to just not fight with this army. He was up 15 vils already. I, I would, after that, just probably push like forward siege. And then I'd have to add economy. Um, and play some all-in castle. He almost had enough for a castle as well. He mined a good amount of stone. He was like 450 stones, something like that. Hmm. Pretty sick. Yeah, I think he threw a bit too much army. That was a good, a good opening, though. It's just so hard to hold it. I'm not even sure what I could have done better. Honestly, it's just so difficult to hold that kind of style. Like, arch scouts into archers when you're really fast civ like Mongols. I honestly don't know how you can stop that. Um, Maybe just tower earlier, but then, like, you can just go around since I didn't wall. This tower only made sense once I walled. Then it was good. Then it was needed, actually. Um, It's so hard because, like, the problem I have with it is that he takes so much damage in Feudal, and then by the time you're able to defend in Feudal, he just gets a faster castle. And then, then you have to defend that, and it just feels like a really hard game versus Mongols every single time.